So, I released So I recently released a song called COVID-19. It's pretty cool. There's a music video that goes with it. You can check them both out. Link in the description. Today, I'm gonna talk to you about how I made the song and also some other things. Let's get into it. Don't get corona, 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 no. Don't get corona, corona, corona. Hey, don't get corona, 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 no. Don't get so, about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, something like that, I thought it would be cool to make a video that is like making a corona type beat. So I went and I filmed the whole video and then turns out my screen recording wasn't. So now I'm making a video on how I made it, not on making it. So when I sat down, I was like, let's make a Corona type beat. Pandemic, that sounds alarming. This virus came from China. So I was like, oh, there's no internet. China alarm. And I found this video. That might sound like a crappy video of someone filming an earthquake alarm to you, but to a music producer, that is like... So I downloaded it, brought it into Ableton, my music software, played around with the warp settings, which means I did stuff like this, where I retimed parts of the clip and made it fit to the beat more, and then I transposed a little bit of it down to make it a little more melodic, auto-tuned the whole thing to make sure it's in key, and came up with this loop. If that's not a successful endeavor into sampling, I don't know what is. I then recorded myself coughing. <coughs> that was loud. Then I put some drums on it, you know, got a kick. Snare, rim shot, hi hats, 808, all the drums together without the 808 are. Oh wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna add the cough in because that's significantly a part of the percussion in this song. And then the full beat with the alarm sound and the 808 is. And I was really proud of it. It sounds good. So then I wrote some Corona type vocals and recorded them. And now you got. Don't get Corona, 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 no. Don't get Corona, Corona, Corona. Hey. Stream this on Spotify, Apple Music, or whatever you use. Link in the description. Go check out the music video. If you use Spotify, please follow me on Spotify so you get notified when I release new music. It'll go on your release radar. Add it to a playlist, so thank you for doing that. Which I'm going to go ahead and assume you did. Also, send it to send it to your friends if you like it. That would be much, much, much appreciated. Anyway, was that all I had to say? That's short. It's time for a serious note. If you or someone that you know is at risk from this disease, then you are in my prayers and I dearly hope that the best outcome possible in this situation is the outcome that outcomes, that happens. So while I do take this seriously, I take it seriously for what it is, which as far as I can tell is a very infectious respiratory infection, which in the grand scheme of pandemics has an extremely low mortality rate. Look at the Black Plague, you know, Ebola, which made you die like this. Everyone is freaking out so much about this disease that has infected 645,000 people and killed 30,000 people. It's a pandemic, it's a national emergency, but hey, according to the FAO, 5 million children died in the world from hunger last year. According to the WHO, someone kills themselves every 40 seconds. That's 800,000 suicide deaths 
worldwide per year. 585,000 people died around the world from drug abuse related overdoses in 2018 which is the most recent information I could find about this. Why aren't these national emergencies? Why the f aren't these considered pandemics? Just because these are ongoing problems that happen all the time that we can ignore in our daily lives does not mean that they are not serious. And I don't know what it is, maybe humans just can't really cope with something new or unknown that seems to constantly be a problem. Look at light pollution, everyone's scared of the dark so they put lights out in their front yard and put lights out on street lights in their yard in the middle of the country so now when I go outside at night I can't fully see the stars even though I live significantly far away from any other human beings. There's all kinds of problems that happen all the time that we just seem to ignore and accept as part of daily life. But when something new comes along, even if it's not that big of a deal, everyone freaks out and goes around and buys up all the toilet paper and makes life a lot harder for the few people that are actually at risk for this disease. Humanity is way more interconnected than we believe. Everything that affects one person can really affect everyone. Humans are extremely social people. Like I said, everyone is really connected. Everyone, everyone, except for maybe like a couple sociopaths here and there, but every normal human thrives off of social interaction and needs regular social interaction for a sane existence. I think that social distancing is going to in increase the rates of depression and death caused by depression at least noticeably, not because of the disease, but because of society's reaction to the disease. Having the government tell me to socially distance myself from people is the most infuriating thing that has ever happened to me in my life because constantly I'm trying to do the opposite of that and sometimes failing. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, there's all these kinds of arbitrary rules that are being abolished because of this. Like not putting people in jail for minor offenses. I heard that California was doing that because they didn't want a lot of people being sick together in jail. Well, why are you putting people in jail for minor offenses anyway if it wasn't that important? Not cutting off people's water bill if they can't pay on time, not evicting people from their houses if they can't be on time and forcing them to be homeless, letting you take 12 ounces of hand sanitizer onto a plane, like I said in my song. Pollution levels have gone down seriously in the United States and China, and I'm gonna assume other countries, but I just didn't see articles about that since the quarantine has gone into effect. Which doesn't mean we should all be quarantining all the time, but it shows how easy it is to reduce pollution levels and do stuff like that. I'm not saying we shouldn't go around and socialize with people, but we can obviously figure out different ways to do it. If the pollution levels went down that quickly, it's not that hard to just change how we all live our lives Make the, to make them better all the time. Um, universal basic income or some form of that is being implemented or actually genuinely seriously talked about in multiple countries now. And hey, everyone's like, all these things are gonna stick around until the virus is over and then we're gonna go back to our rat race dog eats dog hellish hole of an existence. But, do you think people are really gonna be okay with that after two, three, four, five, six months, a year of these new ways of living? Do you think people are really gonna be okay with that? No, of course not. There is gonna be some serious, positive, societal, economical, human relation changes that come out of this as far as I can tell. And to sum it all up, one of the biggest messages I think of this is how we always ignore each other and all these things that are constantly happening to us and around us and forget that we're interconnected as a human species. And to sum it all up, here's a quote that is the best quote that explains all this quickly by our favorite human being, Ethan. Ethan. It's so easy for us all to walk around and act like we aren't so intimately interconnected. But one dude eats a bat in China and I can't leave my house. 
So yeah, that's all the serious things I have to say about it. I s suppose this video was a lot more about this than about my new song, but if you want to check out my new song, go do it! Link in description! Save it! Add it to a playlist, send it to your friends, watch the music video, like the music video, hit subscribe, hit the notification so you get notified when I post new videos. Please do that. I don't have a job right now because Corona, and if you were to help me get a little closer to potentially making money off of music or YouTube, that would be much appreciated as you can tell i'm extremely far away from doing that please stay safe and just stay safe with all the other things that are going to kill you more quickly than corona and also stay safe with corona it is a thing like i said please be a better human look at all these positive changes that are happening and try and amplify those and continue to do those after this has settled down and just please help make the world a better place. In the words of the Wild Stallions, be excellent to each other. If everyone followed that, we would all be a lot happier and the world would be a much better place. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Ayo, hey, your boy from the future forgot to say all this information that I got for this video, all the articles I read, all that is linked in the description. You can see all the information that I gathered from to use in this video. Don't get corona, 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 no. Don't get corona, corona, corona. Hey, don't get corona, 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 no. Don't get corona, corona, no. And if you do, it's not that big a deal unless you are already decently ill. I'm pretty sure that you'll be.